everybody, welcome back to Tassa's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today I'm going to introduce a brand new style for 2021 by Belle Tress. This is Peerless in the color Coconut Silver Blonde. And at first glance, it may look like some of the other long styles that were produced by Belle Tress in recent years, but I assure you there are some meaningful differences coming up. I purchased this style with my own funds. You can find it at Wig Studio One. Drop below the video, expand the description box. You'll find a link directly to this style where you can look at pricing and color options. If you have any questions for Wig Studio One, you can email support at wigstudio1.com. There is also a live chat feature from any product page. If you drop down, hit the little uh, help button with a little question mark, you can be connected with a live chat. Peerless is a new long wavy style coming out of the Cafe Collection by Belle Tress, and it features a curtain bang and a center part. But before we go there, I want to talk about this color. They actually sent me the wrong color. I ordered a different color. Um, but when this came, I decided to just go ahead and keep it rather than uh, go through the hassle of doing an exchange. Now, if you've ever seen the, the code for the Coconut Blonde Silver, it's really long. <laughs> it's a 101, a 102, a 103, a 23, a 60, and a 17 all mixed up together. It looks like it should be this uh, in-your-face kind of color based on that long code, right? But everything is just so subtle. This subtle layering of color is what makes this so beautiful. The Coconut Silver Blonde is a combination of some pale silver. It has some uh, coconut, which to me is a little more of a beigey blonde, and then it has some ash, and then there's a lot of toned white in there as well. There's just a hint of a sandy blonde, all in order to give it a little bit of depth and dimension. Now, Coconut Silver Blonde is not a rooted shade. If you love this color and like a little bit of a root, um, the Roca Margarita Blonde would probably be the color for you. Let's get up close on this color though. You can start to see some of the that, that watery rendition of some coconut, some beige, uh, some of the sandy tones nestled in there. From a distance, this just looks like a platinum or a silver mix. All right, it's but when you get a little closer, that's when you can really start to see the definition of some of those other color codes there. Just gives it a little bit of shadow depth. It's soft, yet it's rich. So the real standout in this style is the bang area. Uh, so this features what Beltress likes to call the curtain bang effect. So we've got that center monofilament part that divides the hair right in the middle and then outstretched are the six inch fringe bangs, okay? Now six inches is just such a flattering length for bangs. Um, it frames the face, it feathers back, it's not heavy and weighed down and it doesn't tend to swoop in and kind of gobble up your face. So like I said, all I did was kind of push it away there's really no cowlick type area there that I can see like a perpetual lift there at the front as I have seen on other Beltrust styles. This one would be easy just to tamp down and wear flat against the forehead. So the overall length is 21 and a half inches. There's another 17 inch layer in there as well, but it's fairly minimally layered. I think some of this a uh, layering effect is coming from the actual wave and flip at the end of these waves. So because of that nice lush density, it does weigh about 6.4 ounces. And Peerless features a center monofilament part with lace front. It's a single unit assembly. There's no seam. It almost looks like and gives the effect of a full lace front monotop unit. Um, there's a lot of versatility here. Before you judge a center part, please hear me out on this. I was with you. I'm like, I don't part my hair down the center. Therefore, I can't wear a center part. When in actuality, I think a center part is for all parting spaces. It's a very wide mouth on that uh, lace front here. So let's take a look while I'm up here. It's temple to temple. It extends. 
Beautiful fine knots, it blends in nicely, it hugs the skin nicely. Okay, and then that goes right back into the center monofilament that goes nearly back to the crown there. Um, but there's a large cutout, a large mouth of the uh, center part there. So it almost looks like a little monofilament top. And you're going to have lots of area in which to part this. So that front piece there is probably two to three inches. You can part the front wherever you like and still get the wonderful illusion of scalp. Um, now along that monofilament, it's about an inch to an inch and a half. So you could move it over you know, to the side if you wanted to, but most of your versatility is gonna be at the front. By having that center part, you could part it left of center, right of center, or dead center, and you're still going to get the effect of the, the beautiful monofilament there. I'm gonna show you more about that in the styling segment. So Peerless is a part of the Cafe Collection by Beltras. All of those styles are made from their heat-friendly fiber. It's a luxurious feeling fiber. You just wanna curl up in it. It's just that decadent feeling. It's soft. Uh, it's pliable, it's very fine in its texture. It really does mimic the, the look, feel, and movement of, of real human hair. Heat friendly fiber is beautiful, um, but it does take a little extra TLC just to keep it looking its best. So I recommend that you only use a wide tooth comb uh, to detangle after each use. One product I feel like is an absolute essential with a heat friendly fiber is the Simply Style and Light Silicone Silk Spray. And this and a wide tooth comb will be just one of the very few products that you need to keep your heat friendly fibers looking their best. This is a pure silicone product. Now what the silicone will do, it has a lot of different uses, um, but what will it will do is protect these very sensitive fibers from the effects of friction and wear and tear. So you'll, you should get a little bit more longevity from your style. It will also help release the tangles um, that you can see so often in a fiber like this. The heat friendly fiber has a little bit of a different chemical composition than non heat friendly fiber. So the fibers tend to clump together a little easier. Frizz starts to take place a little easier. So I suggest uh, just delicately uh, styling and managing it. Detangle after each use very gently. Use uh, just a small amount of this product each time to help them keep look, keep them looking their best. I also recommend limiting your washing of these fibers um, because after each time you wash it, I think it loses a little bit of resilience. We wanna keep it looking as new as possible for as long as possible. If you're interested in this product, I'll attach the link below this video. And my promo code is TAZ, that'll get 25% off of your order. I do earn a small commission upon each sale. The style has limited permittees. You won't find any permatease on the top um, and just a light coating on the sides back. And then it's heaviest at the nape. There's no soft pillowy type permatease, um, but it is a little more thick at the nape just to give some support to the area. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a spin and a walk for you and let you see this in outdoor light. We're gonna get down to some styling where you're really gonna see these bangs come to life and all of the different options that this center part lace front unit does provide. Here's an inside look at the cap for Beltress's Peerless. All right, there is that lace front center part assembly. You see that lace front uh, runs temple to temple but does not extend back into the ear tab. And it's super deep. It just looks like a little mono top right there at the front. Uh, that part narrows as you move back towards the crown but this gives you lots of parting options, especially right there uh, in the front half of the top. Then you have a beautiful velvet ear tab, lots of fibers spliced in there. 
I have just a, a, a standard nape with bra strap type adjusters, lots of wefting, tons of stretch. I had to cinch this in as far as it could go and it still is not secure on my petite average circumference. So as I said, this Peerless is right out of the box. I just swooped it back a little bit to keep it away from the face. That's all I have done. So we're gonna take you through some styling here today. Um, but isn't this such a chic Hollywood look? It's just so stunning that it's just such an eye turner. Here I have my Aviator Sunglass Readers by readers.com. So I'll just take you through some styling here just to manipulate the hair so you can see how it moves and reacts also to inspire you to style your long wigs.